No, Ingus! Well, that's not good, because the fight's now over, isn't it? Which means Ingus doesn't reap any rewards from this one. Well, Refia, you're up. Time to use Raze. Alright, Refia. Raze! And heal everybody back up. Thank you very much. Alright. On we go. Oh, so close to the next floor. But it's a preemptive strike. So that's good, at least. Okay, seriously, they all can divide, can't they? Really kind of sucks. Ugh, excuse me. So many divides. At least Ingus is turning into a powerhouse. Now he's really, you know, DPSing the shit out of these guys. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal again. Next floor, finally. There is a bit of loot. On here, if I can find my way there. It's actually not too far from the, uh, the stairs down to the next floor. Alright. Can I take him down? Nope. I was going to say, can I take him down before he divides? But that turned out not to be the case. And he divided again. That's okay. This guy is now gone. See? Told ya. Alright, Ark's job level increased, Ruffia's job level increased, and Ingus's job level increased. Alright. Oh, where am I going? No, you're supposed to... Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Because I can't see the path. I have no idea where I'm actually supposed to go. Or, like, how I'm supposed to get there. Because, of course, once again, the actual in-game map is not matching up precisely to the guide map. Come on. There we go. Got some more increases, and now I need to heal again. Alright, we've used up more than half of our potions. Okay, let's try this way. And then down... Somewhere... hurting. That's not good. Lunaf is hurting too, but it's not so bad for him. Good, you're finally gone. Just leaving the hellish horse. And that should be gone. Now as well. Perfect. All right. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Made our way through. We got the Genji gloves. Can anybody use those? Uh, no. 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 And no. Nobody can use them. Okay. Wonderful. Yet more items that are useless to me. Alright. 
let us find our way through here. Oh, we're going to have to go back and forth between every room, aren't we? Oh, that is so going to suck. Because there's five separate rooms here. I think what you're intended to do is probably use magic against these guys. Or the Dark Blades. You know, use Dark Knights. Because remember, the, the guy at the very beginning said, like, if you attack with uh, conventional means, then these guys will multiply and divide. So it's like, I'm probably making things harder for myself by not doing it the way the game wants me to do it. But honestly, I don't really mind. I mean, we've got this auto battle, which is like king anyways. All right. And, ooh, I should probably heal. I was gonna say, and then we go to the south, but I should heal first. All right, now we go down here and then across again. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, it's through there, okay, okay. We're good. Next one! And... oof. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so you gotta go all the way across here. And then down, and then back over. I just gotta take out this last guy. Provided he doesn't, doesn't divide. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Items. There we go. And then straight down and then back across. It's like we're getting close. There's only like two more rooms to the end of this uh, dungeon. Perfect. All right, Art got a level, nice. running really low on high potions. But, we got the Kiku Ichimonji. And then in here is the Genji Shield. Oh, okay. I see. And we basically got that pretty much the exact same room again. <laughs> you know, pretty much the same thing. And then down. All right. Last, well, second to last bit of loot is coming up right here. The Genji Helm. And then right across here is the last loot. The Genji Armor. And if this game allowed me to save anywhere, I would. But instead, we just have quick save, and that's not going to help us. Make sure everybody's healed up because we have a boss fight coming up against Hecatonk here, who doesn't reappear in Final Fantasy until Final Fantasy 13, I don't think, where it's one of the uh, one of the summons, which is weird. 
But yeah, Hecaton here. I always thought that was unique to Final Fantasy 13. Nope, it's, uh, it's it started out in Final Fantasy 3. So Hecaton here attacks twice and deals damage of about 500 HP per hit. Fuck. He also casts the Black Magic spell Quake, which damages the entire party. Double fuck. If you have defeated Bahamut, Leviathan, and Odin, then now is a great time to use them. I haven't. Hecaton here doesn't have any obvious weaknesses, so rely upon powerful attacks and magic to end this battle. After obtaining the Fang of Earth, yada yada. Okay, and he has 28,000 HP. Alright. Well, let's do it. Let's go fight Hecaton here. The Guardian of the Fang. After these guys, of course. Fuck me. It's like we're right there, and then, then these guys show up. Just to ruin my day. All right, Luneth got a level, Ark got a job level, and we are going to heal again. All right, let's do this. There it is, the Fang of Earth. We found it, the Fang of Earth. Who dares break the Eternal Seal? A dark shadow attacks you. Oh no! So yeah, there's Hecatonk here. Looks nothing like the myth. Um, let's do an attack. Throw out our most powerful attack. So let's do a quake. Uh, let's do a haste. Oh, I can't do that on the entire party, can I? That fucking sucks. I was I wanted to haste the entire party. All right, quake. Will you let me do protect on the whole party? Protect doesn't work on the whole party. What? Since when? I thought it did. Oh, that is such bullshit. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to use an Eraga. And you, your strongest attack is Thundaga. I don't think that's going to do more than you can do with your physical. All right, Eraga! 1700. 39? Okay, that's not bad. As long as I can keep everybody alive, we should be good. I'm a little worried about Ingus, though. In one, another hit like that, and Ingus is fucked. But yeah, Lunith and Ingus are going to be my heavy hitters for this. Alright, next strongest is Fyraga. You, let's do a Cura on the whole party. And you just do a physical attack again. Yeah, I know it's Ark and Ingus that needed it. Ingus more than Ark, but still. There we go. Fyraga! Oh, that's not too bad. Better than Quake was. Okay, that's fine. And there goes Quake. That hits the whole party. That's fine. You know, it's not too strong. Stronger than I would like, sure, but... Anyways, Fyraga... Uh, let's do, uh, let's do another Kira on the entire party. And just physical attack. Okay. Got that quake again.
And I don't think we're doing too bad against Hecatonkir here like this. As a matter of fact, we've already beaten him. Which is good, because we have another two boss fights coming up soon. One after another, and they're going to be a bit annoying. Obtained 8,000 gil, 3,600 XP, and we're good to go. So now we need to go to Doga's Grotto. We got the Fang of Earth. We have to go back to Doga's Manor. I can't wait to see Uni and Doga again. All right, so let's get out of here. Uh, thankfully, it, he it seems to have healed us up completely again. So that's great. Uh, magic, you have teleport. All right. Let us restock as we can. There we go. High potions. Max them out. Otter shrooms. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of those as well. And I think everybody else is good to go, because I don't think there's too much else here that we need. I mean, there's the the magic spells, but I think we're fine. Let's get rid of the mass black musk. We don't need that. And the kotetsu. We're not going to use that. Star claws, tranquilizer, Lilith's kiss, Genji gloves. It's not worth selling. Basically, all the Genji equipment is not worth selling. All right. In that case, let us buy. Kasuna, Reflect, and Break Ga. So we still have one more to buy there, but that's fine. Learn. There we go. Refia's spell book is almost maxed out. And I think we are ready to continue onward. All right, so now we got to get back out of here, which kind of sucks because there's no short path. You just got to keep going back over all of ah, that's the wrong one, back over all of these uh, mountains again. And hope that we don't go over the wrong ones again. Very likely to happen. All right, I think we're like halfway through. We're getting close, I think. All right, back up. And then over. All right, we're almost out. Just kind of got to go up and around real quick. Perfect. All right, and that was the last one. All right, so now we got to go back to Doga's Manor, which is to the south. Oh, need the Nautilus to uh, reach Doga's Manor, so we actually have to go there. Oh, because the uh, the Invincible can't fly fast enough to to get past the winds. Okay, Durr, that's why. All right. One thing I don't like about the Invincible is the speed. It's so much slower. Okay, where... Oh, where is my dear Nautilus gone? It'd be nice if I could, like, pick it up and carry it around, but nope. There we go. All right, so much faster. Oh, seriously, look at this. So, so much faster. Need to get out of here, though. Uh, there's a town there. Is that town on my... God, yeah, okay. I was like, is that town on my map? Have I been there before? I didn't remember. But apparently we have. All right. Almost a straight shot south now. Well, at least hit the place. And we should... All right. Right down here. Come on. There we go. All 
All right, let's go ahead and save real quick. All right. Duga's Manor. Come, it is time for Uni and I to give you what we have prepared. Where are you guys? We can't see you. Step on the circle and make your way through the tunnels. We shall await at the end. So yeah, we have a little mini dungeon to complete first. There is some loot here, but not too much. Alright. Guess we gotta circle around and down we go. Back attack. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. That is really not good. That is really, really, really not good. It's a Periton. 9650 for health. Weak to wind. Alright. I wanna take this thing down as quick as we can, so fuck no. I'm not gonna risk it. I just hope it doesn't end up killing somebody before we take it down. Which it might. Especially since it can hit twice in a single round. That's gonna take at least one more. Yep, there goes Refia. But it's gone. There we go. Collecting is half the battle. An achievement for that. So I guess we've encountered like half the monsters now. Alright, this sucks because I have to actually use one of my Phoenix Downs in order to bring her back because nobody else has rays and she can't raise herself. I should have used at least Arrow. If not arrow Ra or arrow Ga. And of course we got another one. But like, it, it just really sucked that it was a back attack. Because it was a normal front attack, we would have been fine probably. Like, see, this is a normal front attack, and it's gone in two rounds. All right. Heal up again. And down we go. We got 10,000 gil. Nice. We gotta keep going, though. It's not enough. We need more. More, I tell you. Ugh, fucking hell, Perryton's, though. Again, at least it's not another back attack. Those I really don't like. I want you to keep attacking Ark and Refia, though, because they're in the back row, so they're protected against you better than Ingus and Lunathar. Or you can attack Lunath. Straight up. That's fine. All right. Perfect. Okay. There we go. There's some more loot there. See, I told you we'd get more. There's another 10,000 gil. Ah, so close. So freaking close. Ooh, these guys are new. These are Cyclops. 4,700, weak to nothing. And fairly strong, it looks like. Take one down in a single round, but of course, we still have to take down the other one, and there goes Ingus. Fuck you. Alright. Raise, my child. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Refia's job level has increased. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right, so things open up just a little bit more here. Uh, okay, so we want to go this way first. Get most of the rest of the loot. We have a rising sun. A lust dagger. And a white musk. Alright, items. What are these? Rising sun is a boomerang. Lust dagger is a knife. White musk deals light damage. Alright, you, you can use daggers, but apparently not the lust dagger. All right, now we do not want to go south. There's nothing down there for us. We want to go east. And here we get Chocobo's Wrath. I don't know what this is. Creates an Inferno. Interesting. That's an attack item. All right, two more bits of loot all on this room. We have a phoenix down, which is good because I just used one. And there's another phoenix down as well. Ooh, what is this? Nemesis. 4720, weak to fire. We'll just do our physical attacks. Save our magic for the boss fights. I can take them down in a single round anyways. Well, I'll take one down in a round. Provided they don't confuse our party members. Lunith, come on, man. Oh, fucking hell. He just took himself out. What the hell, man? What the fucking hell? Lunith, dude. No! Oh, that was a waste of a raise. Talk about bad luck. God damn it. All right. Uh, no, no, I don't want to do that. Let's use raise instead. There we go. Damn. Okay, we got some Cyclopses. I think we'll be fine against them. Oh, Ark is out of arrows. I just noticed that. I should probably restock him. <laughs> as soon as we get out of this fight, I will. I'm going to have to heal everybody up anyways. Perfect. All right. There we go. And then Ark. Let's give you Iron Arrows, because those are your best bet. We have 99 of those. And there's our other Phoenix down, which is good because I just wasted a raise. Are you kidding me? Before I can even... I tried to open the door and it wouldn't let me. All right, this is an Ogre and a Humbaba. The Flying Bull is the Humbaba. Which is 67.40. And then the Ogre has 56.80. Then neither of them is weak to anything. Ugh, excuse me. And then we have two boss fights in a row. Alright, Art gains a level, Refia gains a level, which is good. Because our bosses are level 45 and 44. And we're at levels 39 and 38. So that's not particularly great. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. They only have about 23 and 22,000 HP. Remember, Hecatonkir had 29. 